Hey guys, Super Mario Kid 64 here. Welcome back to more Mario Party 5. I know it's been a while, but I've just been a little busy with Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. But now we're going to be continuing on with the rest of the Mario Party 5 project. So, there, we did finish off the party mode. Um, I didn't do so well, honestly. I didn't win that many boards, but we still have a lot more modes to go. So first we are going to be doing the starry, uh, starry, <laughs> starry, story mode and Miss Star is going to be our guide. Alright, well, I might just do, like, a portion of it, but I don't know. I think I should just do the whole story mode, because it's really not long. Alright, welcome to the story mode. My name is Mr. I'll be your guide, okay? You want to hear the rules? No, it's pretty basic. I don't really have to go over it. So, you cannot play as Toad, Boo, or Koopa Kid in story mode for some reason. Um, I'm going to be Yoshi for this. And I'm going to do this on hard, so I can unlock expert difficulty, which I actually didn't unlock yet. Alright, so these settings are okay. There's a little bit of a story that goes with this. Hoo-ha-ha! <laughs> this is the Dream Depot, a world... Sorry, actually, there's actually a little hockey net in the way of this screen, and I can't see what Bowser's saying, so I'm just gonna move that real quick. Alright, we are good. Alright, so this is the Dream Depot, a world created from everybody's dreams. Ooh, I can't wait. We will destroy their good dreams and replace them with ours. And then, we, when we finish, our dreams will come true. Forever. There's no time to waste. Let's go before someone comes. Uh, Bowser, there's no need to worry. Because I'm not afraid of anybody. That's what I like to hear. I guess it's a good time to show off how well I train you. If you're ready, go do what you do best. I will roar! Shh! That's you out. Roar. <laughs> I always love that part. Okay, Bowser is causing all kinds of trouble again. At this rate, he'll destroy the dream worlds one by one. Will you try to stop him? Definitely. So, for the story mode, and Toad is always your partner, by the way, for the two versus two mini games. So that's what Toad's are. I'm here to help Yoshi. Thank you, Toad. Do your best, okay? So basically, there's, um, seven boards in this game, as you guys know. Six regular ones. So of those six boards, four boards will be chosen randomly in a random order, and you play through them, and you have to beat the Koopa Kids until you get to, um, Bowser's Nightmare and take on Bowser, and that's basically how the story mode works. It is pretty quick. Well, uh, I'll ruin this rainbow dream by filling it with my own dream, and I'll help you do it. Grrr, it's you again, Yoshi. Are you trying to stop us? Are you, huh, huh? You can try to stop me, but I'm not alone this time. Blah, ha, ha, ha. Let me introduce you to my powerful Koopa Kids. It's about time you met all of them. I'm Red K Kid, I'm Green K Kid, and I'm Blue K Kid. Hoorah! Blah, that look on your face is perfectly horrible. Do you think you can beat my underlings? Blah. You three, and take. and blah, blah, I don't want to read all their names again. Take care of this pest. Hoorah! Wow, that was a lot of stupid dialogue. Yay, yeah, yeah, 10 on my first turn. So you have to duel the Koopa Kids in order to take them down. Your goal is to get all of their money to zero. When you get to them, though, so you will see a lot of duel mini. Story mode is a really good way to unlock duel mini. Alright, so um, if Yoshi wins, Blue K Kid will lose 15 coins. But if Yoshi loses, Yoshi will lose 5 coins instead. Do your best. So if you get to them, they'll lose more money than if they get to you. Alright, get a rope. This is completely luck-based. I don't think we've played this, actually, now that I think about it. Select one of the three ropes to pull. The results are completely random. The player with the best result wins. Alright, let's see. I still ha am missing a Donkey Kong minigame, but who cares, honestly? Who really cares? Comment if you obviously honestly care whether you see the last DK minigame. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick that one. So I'm really looking forward to this project ending because I'm really excited to start Mario Party 1. And yay, I won actually! <sighs> Alright, so he loses 15 points, we're already on a roll. 
Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back is going by pretty quickly too. I'm like already almost done with the second warp room. So that's not going to be a long let's play. And then I have to figure out what game I'm going to do alongside Mario Party 1. I haven't thought about that yet. I actually don't have any ideas yet, but I'm going to think it over. I do want, I am going to start recording more often. Oh, and I'm... Hope you guys all had a good Easter. Mine was pretty good. We just went to church and then I had some family members over. We went to church with my family members and then we had some family members over. All right, so if I win this, Blue Koopa Kid is dead. It's over for him. Button mashers. This one's pretty tough. This is like that mini game where you literally need the turbo button or else it's like totally unfair. Alright, let's do it. Oh, and my birthday is in three days. It is Monday now. And I go back to school tomorrow from the four-day weekend. So yeah, my birthday's in three days. I'm actually not really looking forward to it. I don't like getting older. Like, I like being 14. I don't want to be 15. Oh my god, this is like impossible. Oh my god, how did he do that? And I was che I was cheating with the turbo button, and I still lost. That was literally impossible. That mini game's ridiculous because the computer players don't have to do crap. That mini game is like literally impossible. So now I just lost ten coins. Great. All right, so I can duel Red Koopa Kid. Yeah, and when they roll, they all move at the same time. Alright. Green Koopa Kid rode the rainbow. Oh, mini game. I think this is one versus three. Time for a versus mini game. This showdown, the loser has to pay five coins per opponent. Alright, so yeah, it is one versus three, so if I win this, I think I get money from all of them. I get five points from each of them, and then Blue Cooper Kid will be dead. Alright, let's do this. Sometimes the boards can be- it depends how good you are. Like, it can be over in five minutes sometimes, sometimes it can like drag on and drag on, and sometimes you can lose. This minigame's very important- Oh, I got all three of them at the same time, that was so epic. Yes. All right, so blue Koopa Kid's out. Good. And then after um, story mode, we're going to move on to mini game mode and do all the modes there. And then after mini game mode, we're going to do, uh, what do you call it, uh, bonus mode. And then after bonus mode, we'll be super... Oh, how could I lose? Did I say Soper Duel Mode? So, that is the second weird error I've made today. Super Duel Mode. Yes, I want a capsule, so yeah, I have a lot more videos to record. Warp Pipe Capsule. Alright, let's take him down. So yeah, we know the drill. If he loses 15, if he loses, I lose 5 if I lose. Mary Poppins. I'm actually pretty good at this one. This mini game has very similar to controls to Mecha Marathon. Actually, you press A and B simultaneously. So yeah. Start. Oh, I was impressed. I was like, I was pressing it the wrong way. I screwed that up. I shouldn't have. I was doing that really wrong. Because, like, the way I was trying to button mash, like, the B button was too small for... Yeah, I screwed up there. Whatever, I only lose five coins. But now it's just gonna drag on longer, so yay. Yeah, the story mode in this game can get pretty boring. Oh, yeah, so, um... Like I said, though, I think I'm just gonna do, like, a sample of story mode. I don't think I'm gonna do the whole thing. Like, maybe I'll just do, like, this one board, just so how you guys can see. Because, like, I really don't want to do the final boss. So, now, since every board's the same, yeah, I, I decided I'm just gonna do this one board, actually. I'm not actually gonna do the whole story mode. 
Because, like, you guys really don't need to see that, because I'm just doing a sample of story mode. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to do that instead. That makes more sense. I guess, like, maybe we could do this in, like, one more board, because, like, there's really nothing we haven't seen. Because I want the final video of the project to be the final boss. I don't want that to be, like, a part of the story mode. Uh, and this is going to be a two versus two. Time for a reverse mini. In this showdown, we'll just to pay 10 coins per opponent. Alright, got it. Rumble ready, so this is where Toad comes into play. And Koopa Kid, it's obvious why we can't play as him. I don't know why you can't be Boo, though. I guess they just figured, oh, well, you can't be Toad or Koopa Kid, so let's just make Boo not playable, too. Oh, I didn't even... That one happened so quickly, I couldn't even react. Alright, come on, Toad, you got this. And we're gonna lose. Because Toad's probably gonna screw... I probably can get this, but Toad could screw up. Alright, I got that one. So if Toad screws this up, we lose. But there's... I could probably get the last one. So come on, Toad. What the hell? Why are they so good at this? <sighs> yeah, wah wah, whatever. You're annoying. Wah wah this. I just flipped them off. So now Bowser's gonna take my money. 20 coins? Am I seriously gonna lose this? It feels pretty darn good to be a loser, Bowser. I'm proud. And they get to keep the money, those little assholes. And why do you keep landing on that? You're pissing me off. I'm really getting sick of Mario Party 5 now. I just want to move on to Mario Party 1. That project's probably going to be long because, like, I have to do mini... There's, first of all, there's eight boards, so that's, like, a bunch of videos. That's, like, 16 videos right there. And let's throw it. But the boards are very short in Mario Party 1. But that's like 8 board. 8. Th that's like 16 videos right there. And then like Minigame Island is probably going to be a lot of videos. Minigame Island's a nightmare sometimes. Some of the rotating control stick minigames are annoying. Okay, so if I lose this, I'm out. It's over. I lost. So this, like, the game is depending on this battle. Alright, let's we'll see what happens. Not head waiter, come on. <sighs> okay, so it starts at 9. Alright, so now it's at 7. Now it's at 5. It could be at 3 right now, it could be at 1 right now. Ha! Got you! Finish. You tried to do two, I won, yes. I almost realized, like, I wasn't even thinking for a second there. I, like, I, after I won that, I just realized how important that battle was, because that could have cost me the game. Whew. God, I'm looking at my collection right now. I'm running out of room. Like, I really need to get bigger shells. We're actually moving soon over the summer. Um, not anywhere far, though, just, like, probably a town or two over, just because, for a reason, so, um, I'm hoping I can get bigger, my mom said when we move in my new room, I can get bigger shelves, and I'm hoping I can get, like, a new, better recording setup, that would be nice. I would love to get a laptop, actually, that would make recording way easier, that would be cool. I want to get a laptop really badly, actually. My, I've actually never asked for a laptop. Um, maybe like next Christmas. Oh, and this is the easiest mini game ever. Shy Guy Showdown. Press the button on the sign that the Shy Guy holds up. Whoever presses the correct button first wins. The Shy Guy may hold up a fake sign. Don't let him fool you. You can kind of use the paw. I think you can use the pause trick in this mini game because this mini game can be a little scary. Like if you react too fast. Yeah, you can can do the pause trick for this mini game. 
which I'm really nervous. All right, fake sign. I always would use this for that um, battle minion when you have to hit, oh, slap down in Mario Party 3. Got you, ha, I don't care if I cheated. You're black, covered with ink, and I'm clean as can be, so ha. Yeah, feels good. Alright, so he lost a lot of money from that. I just gotta duel him again, and then Red Koopa Kid is done. And like, something else too, like, we've seen all the boards in this project, like, there's really no reason to do the whole story mode, like, doing a sample of it just makes more, a lot more sense. Now that I, like, I'm really thinking about it. But I just wanted to, like, show you guys what it is, like, there's really no point in doing the whole thing. Ooh, mini aim. If I lose this, I'm out. Like, it's over, I lost. Oh yeah, and as you guys can also see, um, the board gets um, like cut in half, like they make it smaller. Alright, Handy Hoppers, I'm decently good at this one. I hope I'm jumping. I really hope I'm jumping. Damn it, this is my first time controlling it, actually. Come on, come on, Toe, we can do this, we can beat them. Wow, I'm doing this a lot faster than Green to the Kid. Come on, Toad, get jumping. Sorry if these button pressing is. Wow, they suck at this, actually. Sorry if this is loud. Wow, he set a new record. Okay, I changed my mind. I actually like doing that. We destroyed them. I like being the one um, moving the thing better, actually. The computer players are better at jumping than rotating. Alright, whew, I needed that win. And now I get money, so now I'm in a better position. Whew. So now I got now this is my chance to take both of them out. I'm not gonna pay, pay 10 coins using them myself. Um Yeah, I'll just go right. It. And catch up to both of them. Ooh, dual capsule. I really do not like the capsule system in this game. It's the capsule system or orbs in that game. Um, the orb system is so much better in Mario Party 6 and 7. Um, and Mario Party 6, I'm going to be doing after Mario Party 1. So, I'm doing Mario Party 1 next, then 6 will be after that, and then 7, and then I'm gonna do 8. My Mario- for anyone who didn't notice, um, I did take my Mario Party 9 project down because the quality was so bad. I'll probably redo that sometime in the future. But probably not anytime soon because like I already did it. Like this that project was so bad quality. Haha, -ha, I'm pretty good at that. God, that hurts though. Why do I have to have to keep pressing L and R so much in this video? <laughs> Ah, uh, he's so close to dead. Of course, Green Koopa Kid had to land there, because I could have passed him and took him out. So it's gonna take a little longer to get rid of Green Koopa Kid. <laughs> Duh, why wouldn't I want to use a capsule machine? Ah. Alright, Red Koopa Kid, prepare for your death. Ah. Alright, so yeah, story mode, like I said, like, if you're, like, having a hard time unlocking, like, a specific dual minigame or something, this is, like, the best 
Um, oh, Bound of Music, I think we played already. In case we haven't, jump around the cloud and try to find as many invisible boxes with a musical note on them as you can. Regular box won't help you win. Keep jumping and looking for blocks of musical notes on them. So yeah, this mini game's kind of luck based a little bit. Just gotta keep randomly jumping around like an idiot. Alright, I'm definitely beating him so far. You can kind of see where they're positioned at first. Yeah, I think I got this. I think I won that. The mo this is like one of those like moment of truth moments in this mini game. It's always like, oh my god, did I win? Oh yeah, I got two more than him. That was close. <laughs> you know what was so stupid? Why didn't Mario like I always think about this? Why didn't Mario Party 4 have dual mini games? Like Mario Party 2 and 3 have them, 5 has them, 6 has them. Like, I know Mario Party 1 doesn't have dual minions, but, like, that's, like, the first original Mario Party, like, so, like, it, okay, they didn't exist yet, but, like, if Mario Party 2 and 3 had them, then why didn't Mario Party 4? Like, Mario Party 4 is, like, one of the best Mario Parties graphically, but, like, I feel like Mario Party 4 is just a lot of lazy in a lot of ways, like, for that, like, why is there no dual mini games? Like, it's stupid. Oh, great. Are we gonna play this game? Like, Mario Party 4 has, like, no dual mini game. No dual mini games, and it has, like, a very small amount of mini games. Like, Mario Party 4 is probably one of the laziest Mario parties when it comes to mini games. Like, I believe of every Mario Party game, I believe Mario Party 7 has the most with a total of 89. I think that's it. Yeah, I believe Mario Party 9 has the most. Or not Mario Party 9, Mario Party 7 has the most of 89 mini games. I know Mario Party 9 has like 80 mini games. Most of them have around like 80. Mario Party 1 only had 50. Mario Party 4 is 52. 20. Oh, so if I win this, I win. But if I lose, I'm kind of screwed, actually. Oh, not this freaking luck base one. This is the one I won on my first try, but, like, I'm gonna be so pissed if I lose this, because, like, if I lose this, like, he basically is gonna win the game. Okay, there's 12 switches. Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. I'm really nervous. Oh, whew, I was really scared there. So yes, I won. And I'm only going to do this board because there's really no point in showing the whole story mode. You guys know what it is now. We've seen every board in the game. We know what happened. You know, it's just like, it's not worth it. Hey, hey, you did it. You get 18 points from the losing Koopa Kid and I win the board. And also for every board, you get a rank. How could I lose? It's terrible. Yeah, that's what they all say. I'm sorry, Bowser. Don't worry. This world grants wishes to those who wish. Huh, really? So you see, Yoshi, there's still plenty of time for us in our evil plan. Yeah, so don't get any big ideas. So Yoshi, I, I bet you're dying to know what my dream is. Hey, I've got a dream. Silence. That's not fair. If you win the next one week, I just might tell you, blah. Till the next board map, Yoshi. Blah. Grog. Dream cleared. So yeah, like you go in order. So I got an A. The best you can get is, is S. So that's actually not the best you can get. Yoshi, you did it. You saved the rainbow dream for us. The beautiful dream of rainbows is so high. But Bowser's trying to ruin another dream. Will you protect it? No. Quit the story mode, yes. Okay, guys, so th that about does it for story mode. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's all I'm going to be doing for it. I just wanted to show you guys, like, what the story mode is. I was going to do the whole thing, but then I just realized that it's, there's just no point in it. So in the next video, we're going to be starting out mini game mode. There is a lot of stuff to do in mini game mode. So we are going to be starting mini game mode next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mario Party 5, and I'll see you guys next time for more. Later, guys.